United States Vice President Kamala Harris has pledged not to stay silent about suffering in Gaza, shifting emphasis to the plight of Palestinians as the de facto presidential nominee walks a fine line on the conflict dividing her Democratic Party. Speaking to reporters after a meeting with Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in Washington on Thursday, Harris said that her commitment to Israel's existence and security was unwavering, but that far too many innocent civilians have been killed in the war. Harris, the presumptive Democratic nominee after President Joe Biden's decision to end his re-election campaign, said that she had urged Netanyahu to agree to a U.S.-backed ceasefire proposal. Harris also reiterated her support for Israel's right, right to defend itself, condemned Hamas as a brutal terrorist organization and listed the names of five U.S. citizens believed to be in Hamas captivity in Gaza, as well as the names of two others whose remains are believed to be in the enclave.